cohort analysis is nothing but analyzing the customer behavior and it is analyzed for example by if you want to analyze it across the years we want to see that when the customer made his first purchase and based on the year in which he made it first purchase how is his uh, purchase uh, history been in the other years in the later years after the first year that he has made, uh, made his purchase so the important thing that we want to calculate here is the first time that the customer made a purchase of any of the products in our categories now in this example what we're trying to analyze is that they are customers so we are trying to analyze some data based on the customer so let's take the customer names and see so here we have the customers and we want to see what is their purchase pattern like how many orders they are placing and things like that so we want to see something like the order id the kind of orders they are placing so let's just add the orders over here now we can see that this customer andrew has placed multiple orders some customers have only placed a single order and so on now at this time we also want to see that when have they placed their first order so we want to see something like uh, the order date but we just want to know the first time they place the order so the logic to find out the first time that they place the order would be to calculate the minimum order date for that particular customer okay so before going into calculating the minimum order date let's just calculate a count of the orders so these order ids are not really helping us uh, analyze any information in this worksheet so let's just calculate go to the order id and do a count of distinct of the orders so now we know that this customer has created these many orders has placed one order and let's now also analyze it across the date so we know in which year the customer has placed the order so for example now we can see that the first customer has placed his first order in 2017 now at the same time the data that we are interested in is something like this so for andy he has placed his first order in 2014 then he came back in 2017 and placed another order so this is the kind of information that we are looking for uh, by building this visualization okay so now we have the customer and we have the order date we know the kind of orders that the customers have been placing but our visualization aims to find out that what is the percentage of orders or what is the percentage of sales or what is the total amount of sales that is happening by that customer who first places order in a particular year so that is the kind of visualization that we are looking for so now let's create one more lod over here which is going to be a fixed lod and we are going to first compute the first time the customer place an order so the first time the customer place an order for that we are going to write this expression so let's go to the calculated field box and we are going to find out the minimum order date so so minimum customer or let's just make it like the first order first order date So to calculate the first order date we have to calculate the minimum order date for each customer so to create the lod expression we are going to use a fixed lod expression because we want the customer id or the customer key to be fixed in this case so let's use a keyword which is fixed over here and then let's use the dimension across which we want to fix the segregation which in our case is going to be the customer name now customer names might have duplicates there might be two different customers with the same name so we have to choose an id field over here to make sure that the records that we are picking up are distinct for each customer so the best field to do that or the best dimension to pick up here would be your customer id and then the calculation the actual calculation that we want to do is to find out the minimum of the order date for that customer and then just close it off 
with a girly bucket over here. Okay, so now this is our calculation that would give us the first order date for that customer. So let's just say an okay and it will get added as one of the dimensions over here. We can just drag and drop it over here and add it as the first order date. So now it automatically has aggregated it to the year level and now we know the year in which a particular customer placed his first order. So now we are ready to build some more visualizations and do a proper cohort analysis to see that based on the first time the customer placed that order, how, he, how has his purchase pattern been across the years later on. So let's go to another worksheet and start building another visualization that will allow us to make this analysis. So here we are just taking the sales again. Let's analyze the sales. And let's do it across year again because we want to see his pattern over the year. Let's change it to a bar. And let's also use the segment over here to see or analyze this data across the different segments. Now, this is a simple visualization. Again, it is just telling us that the so it's just giving us a sum of sales across years and across within the different segments. Now we want to add our cohort analysis. So we want to analyze this sum of sales based on the customer behavior. So we need to include the same fixed calculation that we created for the customer ID. So we want to include the minimum order date that we created over here. And we want to see the contribution of based on the first time the customer made his purchase. So we are just going to uh, reuse the same column that we created earlier on. So that was our first order date. So we can just use that column, bring it to the color tab. So it will just color it differently, showing the percentage of or showing the sales for the different years based on the first time of the purchase. So you can see over here that the year of first order date was 2014. Or you can see here with respect to the different years that the first purchase was made for the segment consumer. So the year of first order date 2016, the year of first order date was 2015. So the sales in 2016 were 2029. And this customer made his first purchase in the year of 2015. So now we know that based on when the first purchase was made, how have those kind of customers been making the purchases later on in the later years across different segments. So this is known as cohort analysis and this is an analysis that we have made based on the customer purchase history. So this is simply letting us analyze that. Uh, let's go to this tab. So the customers who bought or who placed their first order in the year 2016, they have made 3,225. Uh, that is your sum of sales in the year 2017 whereas the customers who made their first purchase in the 2015 year have made this much sales so from this we can see that the highest contribution to sales apart from the new sales coming up in 2017 has been from the customers who made their first sales in 2016. okay so this is your breakup based on when the first sale was made so you can 
do your analysis based on this data. So this is one of the use cases where the fixed LODs are used. And the fixed, we have just fixed it on the customer name. Now we do not see the customer name or the customer ID anywhere in the view, but a calculation is based on the customer ID or the customer name. So that is why we needed an LOD expression over here because we wanted to aggregate on some data that was not present in this particular view. So it is hidden from the view or it is not included in the view, but there's an aggregation that works on a dimension that is not included in this view. And that is why we wanted to create an LOD. Now in this case, we have chosen the fixed LOD because we wanted to calculate the minimum order date fixed for each customer. So we did not want it to vary because that is a requirement and that is how the calculation had to be made. And that is why we have chosen the fixed LOD over here. 